Welcome to a stair step card set tutorial. I'm Shari Filomahala here at the Graphic 45 headquarters and today I'm going to teach you how to take our cottage life papers and some of these pre-made scored and cut card bases and turn them into these fun and fabulous dimensional cards. These cards this month have been created for us by Nancy Weathington. So with this card set, I am going to teach you how to decorate these pre-scored and cut card bases that you're going to get in your kit using some of our Cottage Life ephemera assortment pieces and chipboard. You can see I'm going to walk you through the tutorial on how to make this one, but using that same template, you can make this with your leftovers. Next, I'm going to teach you how to take some of those ephemera assortment pieces and really use them to frame out this card, making these just a cinch to create this month. To show you a fun new way to use these inner stair step cards, show you that there's a fun way you can do the pop-up on the inside and you open that up for some delightful interaction on the inside. So to create these cards, of course, you're going to need to pick up our volume four card kit. You can do that by hopping on over to our website, g45papers.com or going down to your local G45 retailer. We encourage you to pick up this kit and grab your supplies and join us for this fun and fabulous tutorial. The first step for all of our card tutorials is uh, cutting and prepping our card bases. Luckily today, we are using these pre-cut, pre-scored card bases that uh, you're gonna get nine of along with the envelopes. So these are easy breezy to um, create. All you have to do is fold like I have here. So let's do one together. So I'm folding my center and why don't we go ahead and take out our bone folder so we can get a nice crease on those two sections here. And then we're going to start with our first step and that is going to go down. So folding that downwards like so. And then I'm going to pinch my next one up so you can see what I have going on in here. And then my next fold, I'm going to fold down and my last one, I'm going to fold up. Now that I've pinched it all together, I can take my bone folder on the side and crease that down. So to do this from scratch, we are going to take a piece of cardstock and cut it to be five and a half by eight and a half. And then we are going to score that in half at four and a quarter all the way down. Next, you're going to take a ruler and mark one and a half inches from the bottom and one and a half inches from the top. And then approximately in the center, you're going to mark from the left hand side at one and a quarter inch. And then you'll mark at six and a quarter. And then you'll just want to draw some lines all the way down and across where you made those markings. Cut our two long center lines. So on the eight and a half inch side, one should start about two and a quarter from the bottom and just on those lines and then match it up to your other line and then we'll cut the second one here. And if you don't have a paper trimmer where you can drop the blade, you can go ahead and do it with a craft knife instead. Panel cut in the center and I can go back to doing some more scoring. So first thing I want to do is just score where I have my center lines at one and a quarter and my center line at six and a quarter just going from one cut to the other there. And then we're going to do a few more scores. We're going to do one at two inches and one at three inches. And 
and one at four and a quarter inch, which we already did. So now we have all of our score lines and our cuts. You can just go ahead and take a pencil eraser and erase our lines. So now you have a similar card base to what we have uh, sent out in those kits and just score the same way. Now you should have a little DIY inner stair step card like we have. Card one. For card one, step one, we're gonna take Blossom Like a Rose and we're gonna cut out two strips to be one and three eighths of an inch by four and one eighth of an inch. And then we are going to trim over one of the leftover strips to be two and a half by one inch. And then with your adhesive of choice, you can adhere those three pieces down on the front of your card base. I'm using art glitter glue. It's my fave, but you use uh, whatever you love. Step two, using that same gorgeous blossom like a rose paper, we're gonna cut a strip to be one and one eighth of an inch wide, and we're gonna cut out two pieces that are gonna be three and three quarters. And then we'll have one little small leftover piece that's gonna be two and a quarter by three quarters of an inch and then adhere those three pieces on top of your pink B-side pieces. Next, we're gonna take this Enjoy the Little Things ephemera piece from our ephemera assortments, and we are gonna put this on our last big mountain fold on the inside of our card, and then just kind of find the placement you like, making sure everything stays inside of the card section and center it up. And now I can see I flip this over it's about halfway so I know when I'm putting my adhesive down to only add adhesive to the bottom half now I'm just kind of folding or twisting until I can get this in the place I like and then once you have it how you like it go ahead and burnish that down from Dwell in Possibilities, we've cut out this Keep Life Simple cut apart, and it's gonna go on our next little step. So I've added some adhesive, and I want this to go kind of higher up. So staged in the center, you'll see a nice bit of border. Now we're going to use some of those embellishments and doll this cutie up. So I'm gonna take this little ephemera piece here. And I can see, I don't want to put adhesive over on the uh, back of the right hand sleeve. So I'm just gonna put my finger there and add my adhesive. And of course you can do this in any arrangement that you like, or you can follow to the T how we're doing it here. And now we're gonna take our next little ephemera piece and I can see I've got the top of my bowl here that is going to be a little bit off the edge so holding on to that and now let's add some more dimension with these gorgeous chipboards so before I place this down I'm just gonna do a little bit of fine tuning and sand off those little nubbins and now I can adhere this down and then we're gonna add a cute little flower here. How cute is this turning out to be? And then the last step we want to do that's optional is add some paper on the inside. So I'm going to use that same rose paper, the blossom like a rose paper, and we've cut it to be five and a quarter by four inches. And then I have gone ahead and I've measured and I've measured over one and a quarter and again at four and an eighth and drew lines down across and then uh, drew a line at the two inch mark. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the square and I want my floral side up so it's great. It's just fine to draw on the back of your pink side. So when you cut out that square, you end up with a piece that looks like this. And of course you could use pink side up. You just need to erase your lines and then adhere it down in the center. And then to get this card to fold right side up, just fold it back over. And there you have it, our card number one. 
Now we're gonna take that same template to make this beautiful card with our leftovers. So you can see we've got our Keep Life Simple as our pink paper on the inside and outside. And then these beautiful blue pieces came from this signature page here. And then we've got chipboard, 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 and chipboard giving us lots of gorgeous dimension. And then inside that chipboard frame, we have just cut out this section here. And then we have a nice little sticker at the bottom and a Dwell in Possibilities piece from this Dwell in Possibilities paper. Card two. Step one for card two, we're gonna cut out two pieces of Blossom Like a Rose to be one and a half by four and a quarter. Adhere this pink print to the right and left sides and it should be nice and flush and fit perfectly. So locate your largest frame and then cut off three quarters of an inch from the bottom. However, don't be talking like I was when I cut mine and so my piece slipped and now my uh, bottom isn't totally flush, but I'll just fix that when I decorate with my embellishments. Add adhesive to the sides and bottom of your frame and then this is gonna go in the center of your card base, creating a perfect little window. Locate these pieces from your ephemera assortment pack. And then add all those ephemera pieces. First, you're gonna put your blue scroll down, then add your large roses, making sure your pop dots don't show on the back side, so don't put any here. Next, you're gonna add the blue lingerie corset. We're gonna make shift this tag. So we've added our blue, our flowers inside our little tag, and then added a pop-up, and then added adhesive to the butterfly body, giving it some nice wing uh, flight, adding dimension. But it's also great because it will lay flat in an envelope. And then from your ephemera assortment pack, grab this, I would blossom if I were a rose. And it's a little bit of a snug fit for me, so I'm gonna trim off just the tiniest bit. I'm gonna trim off about a 16, or an eighth of an inch on either side, maybe even a 16th of an inch on either side. So I've done one side, now I just need to do the other. Add adhesive to the bottom one third and adhere this in about leaving a nice eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch all the way around the bottom and sides. Add adhesive to the center of your Keep Life Simple ephemera piece and this is going to go on our next step. Just centering and leaving about an eighth of an inch room again. And then to decorate the inside, we're gonna take Blossom Like a Rose and cut this to be five and a quarter by two inches and one and a quarter by two inches. And we're gonna have two of those. And then adhere those three pieces inside. So we have finished this gorgeous card number two. And then using the same template, we are using the Little Things paper you have the nice little border strips here and then the b-side here that we are using as our base and then we've got lots of ephemera pieces going on here and a chipboard and chipboard there chipboard here that makes it just a delightful beautiful card for card three we are really getting funky and mixing things up with having an inside pop-up instead of an outside Step one, we are gonna take my happy place and we're gonna cut out two pieces that are four inches by five and a quarter. So before we start doing any adhering, we wanna know what is our front and what is our back. So our, when we open it up, we want our big step to be on top and our little step to be towards the right. So this is my front and the opposite side is my back. And then I'm gonna add my adhesive directly onto my card base. So once you've added your adhesive onto your card base, leaving about a quarter of an inch of room on all four sides, we can go ahead and center this. And I'm just going to flatten out my insides so I can get a really nice flat 
burnish onto this. And then I'm gonna do the same with my back. Now that we've adhered our front and our back, we can make sure that our steps are still popping like this. Step two, we've taken our piece of cottage life and cut it to be three and three quarters by five inches. And then we've added some pop-up adhesive. Pop that onto the front of your card. From Dwell in Possibilities, we're gonna cut out my happy place and then add some pop-up dots on this little cutie as well and center on our card front. Locate these three chipboard pieces and adhere to your card front. I've added a combination of foam adhesive and liquid adhesive, just noting where this is going to match up onto my different base. And then pop some liquid adhesive down over that little tag hole and add a cute little dot. Now to decorate the inside of our card, I have cut for step four, two pieces of my happy place to be five inches by one and a quarter. Score both pieces at two inches on the five inch side. And then we are going to match these up on the top and bottom. So our two inch side will be towards the left hand side of the card base and the three inch on the right hand side. And then go ahead and fold to burnish on those lines. Step five from Cottage Life, we're gonna cut out one piece that's gonna be two inches by five and a quarter, and a second piece that's one and one eighth by five and a quarter. Adhere those two pieces. Step six, we're gonna cut a piece of my happy place to be two inches by two and three quarters. Add adhesive to our large pop out in the center, and then this blue piece is gonna go centered on there. Next, we're going to adhere this oval frame on top of this. So I'm just going to add some adhesive to the outside edges of my blue paper and adhere this beautifully in the center. And then we're gonna grab this Enjoy the Little Things chipboard and that's gonna go perfectly inside our little oval frame. So I've added adhesive to our last little step there, and I'm just flattening this out for this part here so I can make sure I get a nice, good um, bond between my chipboard piece and my step. And then I wanna make sure everything's gonna fold nicely. So it's all looking good and staying in there. This is a bit of a more of a dimensional card, which would be harder to mail. So this would be a great example of one that you could uh, put in a package and hand deliver, or if you want um, to keep it on the uh, smaller side, you could always swap out these embellishments for stickers, paper, or um, the ephemera assortments. So just kind of giving you some options, showing you the possibilities. So we've finished up card number three and it is super cute. I love the versatility of this card set. And then to show you what you can create using your leftovers, we have this other side pop up using our Sweet Rambles paper for the background blue and green. And then we have some nice little ephemera pieces, chipboard, ephemera, and then inside, we're using a lot of our dwell and possibilities to get these beautiful borders. This piece comes from that paper as well, as well as these borders here. And then we've got some chipboard and ephemera pieces. So we did it. Give yourself a pat on the back. We have created some gorgeous dimensional cards. We would love to see what you've created. So go ahead and share your cards with us and all your Graphic 45 projects on Instagram using that Graphic 45 hashtag. And of course, if you're looking for more fun and fabulous tutorials like this one, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and then hit that notification bell so you know each and every time we upload a fun and fabulous project like this. Of course, if you are looking for more cottage life inspiration, you can find these two tutorials in the link below as well. So the fun is never done here at Graphic 45. 
we thank you for joining us and as always happy paper crafting